Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about my old school fall nail polish favorites. This year, I was really inspired to pull out a lot of my old, old school favorites, um, a lot of which are tried and true and that I've loved for many, many years. And some of these are pre-YouTube, pre-Instagram. Pre and, uh, and so I started pulling out polishes and I pulled out one of my all-time favorite polishes for the fall. And this is China Glaze Don't Let the Dead Bite. And the formula of this one has changed. So I thought this is what inspired this video basically to serve as a reminder not only for myself but also for you guys to not forget about the oldies but goodies i am going to be doing a current uh fall nail polish picks as well as my fall seasonal rack video but before i do that i wanted to make this video because i a lot of the times we get so caught up on on new releases that we tend to set our old favorites to the back and we then we tend to forget about them and so I want to make this video as a reminder to all of us not to forget about them. So let me start off with this purple that I, I've loved for many years. I've finished bottles of this and this pretty much stayed on my toes for fall and winter for a long time. This is Viking in a Winter Wonderland. It is a much warmer purple and I believe this is a part of their core line. So let me bring it back here because it'll show true to color. So it's a much deeper purple, but it's not one of those deep purples that looks black on the nails. It always distinctly looks purple. And this one has a great formula. It gets a pick of two coats. So let me bring it up closer so you can see the undertone of it. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and then while I'm here, let me pull out purple with the purpose. This is a kind of purple that I love year round, but I think it looks super awesome for the fall. And it's a much cool tone purple, but it has this pink little shimmer that warms it up just a little bit, as you can see. And so beautiful. Look at that. So purple with a purpose is cool, and then Viking is more warm leaning. And then let me also bring out, um, do you have this color in Stockholm? Which is kind of similar to purple with a purpose, but this one's a cream. And... <sighs> With Do you have this color in Stockholm at first coat? It looks like it's going to have a crappy formula, but magic always happens for me at second coat because it gets opaque and it's beautiful. Again, it's a little bit more cool than Viking, but all of these are awesome for the fall. Wouldn't you like to know is another one that's really awesome. And this is kind of like a hot chocolate brown. And it has a very warm little shimmer. And this one gets a pick at two coats and it looks really decadent on the nails. This one's beautiful. Uh, Lincoln Park After Dark is a tried and true for me. I've uh, finished bottles of this one as well. And this one is a blackened purple. So it, in some lights, it can look black on the nails, especially if you're indoor. When you're outdoor in direct light, you can tell that... Um, it's a blackened purple, but there's something that sets this apart from a black nail polish, and I feel like this looks super chic on the nails. This one, kind of like Wicked from Essie, same thing, but let me bring it closer so you can see the undertones, because Wicked leans a little bit more red, and Lincoln Park leans a little bit more purple. This is a, a recent purchase for me in the last couple of years, because I didn't find the need to get this one, because I own Lincoln Park. And it just held my heart for so long. But Wicked is also an older polish. And I believe it's still available in their core line. So these two are great. Bring them out. I think they're beautiful. And they both have a really great formula. Russian Navy is a tried and true also. This Navy, Navy, Berry Tones, and... Um, and uh, Navy's berry tones and black and purples can stay at my toes fall and winter season. So this is a deeper navy blue, but it has this little shimmer that is slightly visible on the nails in some lights, but it kind of sits in the back a little bit, but I actually like that. I do have to be careful with application with this one because it can't stain the skin around my nail, but it has a really awesome formula. And it gets a pick at two coats. My voice is a little raspy today. <clears throat> Green on the runway. And this is one of my all-time favorite favorite greens. 
So this is a duo. It goes from that emerald green and then it shifts to that rusty kind of red. And it's beautiful. This is fall in a bottle. Formula wise, it's a little bit thinner, so it can require three coats. But if you go in a little bit heavier, you can get it opaque at two coats. It's just really beautiful. And China Glaze came out with Little Green Invaders, which is a lighter version of this. The green in that one is a little bit lighter, and I feel brighter. Uh, this one's a little bit deeper, but I actually prefer this one over that one. So this one's great. I think um, some of these maybe you can't find in the store, but you can find them at discounted um, websites. I'll, I'll try to link some of the ones that I've visited in the past. Uh, Ski Till We Drop. I think OPA discontinued this particular one, but I think they came out with a, a version of this. Um, is it Amazon, Amazoth? I don't own that one because I love this one and I still have it. Um, or maybe there's another one. I can't remember. But I, the one that I remember is Amazon, Amazoth. And this is a teal cream, but it leans um, heavy on the blue. And it's really good. Good formula. Beautiful color. Two that came out in the Washington DC collection. So a relatively newer collection, I guess you can say. Um, and I'm pretty sure this one's still available, which is Susie the First Lady of Nails. It's the olive green. Cream gets a pick at two coats. Really good formula. And Cherry Blossom. This one I don't think you can find anymore, but Berry Tones, you know, and many brands make this type of shade. And this one's really beautiful. I love this as pedicures. So good. Beautiful. I don't know why they, they didn't keep it like the olive one. You know, I wish they would have kept it in the pore line as well. It's a Piazza cake, which is the pumpkin orange. This is a cream, and it takes two coats. So let me bring it a little bit further back because it's a little bit more burnt. But I've mentioned before that I... Although I really like this one, I enjoy this one. I much prefer deeper, more burnt, and uh, oranges that have a little bit more brown in them. And so for that reason, for me, a plain koi tops, it's a piazza cake. Just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. You know, this year I'm in the mood for um, a pumpkin orange that's a little bit lighter and brighter. Um, in some years I'm in the mood for something a little bit deeper. Last year I wore, um, my Italian is a little rusty from OPI, which is still, I think, currently in their core line. I know I've seen it at Ulta recently, so you can find that one. That one's beautiful also. But these are from much older collections, so I didn't pull that one out. I wanted to focus on these two because these are great. And both of these also have a great formula. Every month is Oktoberfest. And every month is a red shimmer, but it's more um, burnt. It's a little bit warmer. Uh, Formula-wise, it's a little bit thinner, so it can require about three coats to get opaque on the nails. But it's so beautiful. I love it. And actually, since I'm here with this one, Under Your Spell, it's a relatively similar. It is not the same. I feel like Under Your Spell um, doesn't come up as glowy as you see here on the nails like every month um, but it is an option and I don't even know if uh, Wet n Wild makes uh, this polish anymore I'm not quite sure but uh, for the longest time this was a favorite for many fall seasons because again it's a red but it looks a little bit more rusty a little bit more burnt so pretty both of these are great and uh, this one which is How Great Is Your Dane it's a cool brown so it's a brown, but it has a little bit of gray. Let me bring it back over here because it brings out a little bit more of the gray. Every time I bring it closer, <laughs> it lightens up the color a little bit. This is awesome. Uh, it's one of my favorite browns with gray. I do have a, another one that I adore as well. Um, but this one's great. Great uh, formula also. My private jet. I have the version that's a little bit more charcoaly. I'm bringing it up close so you guys can see the holographic and the little bronzy shimmer. Um, but when I put it here in the back, it's more of a charcoaly gray. So I have the gray version. I know there's like a, a brown version, I think. I don't know. I've never, I've never owned that version, so I'm not really sure. This is awesome. And you see the holographic specs on the nails also. It's beautiful and it also has a great formula. Um, and since I talked about Wet n Wild, let me talk about the other two Wet n Wilds. Am I done with OPI? I'm not done with OPI. Let me talk about Metallic for Life. I did not buy this one when it originally came out. 
Um, but it was on my lemming for the longest time. And then Sweet Carolina sent this one to me last year. And I love it. Um, the wait was well worth it for, for me. This one has a black jelly base and silver metallic glitters. But they lean a little bit more blue-green. And that hint of blue-green is what makes them look extra reflective on the nails. It is so beautiful. But I did do a video in comparing Power Slide from Sally Hansen, which they currently have in their line. I think, though, several brands have done um, a black jelly with silver metallic glitters. So they are readily available. And Power Slide is, has a great formula. Also, it's also reflective on the nails. Um, but because it uh, metallic has that hint of blue-green, I feel like it's more reflective than Power Slide. But this one's still a really great option, and it actually holds on to my nails better than metallic. So the last time I wore it, I think I layered uh, Power Slide as a base and then put metallic over top of it, and it helped metallic last a little bit longer. And actually, when I wore metallic with a base coat, it, it chipped easier but when I put it over top of bare, bare nails it seemed to hold on to my uh, on my nails a little bit better so these two are great for like Halloween or New Year's time I think and before I move on because I forgot to mention this one and I freaking love it this is my vampire is buff which is like a white cream and this one has uh, quite a bit of yellow in it two from wet and wild that I adore wet cement and this topped You Don't Know Jacques from OPI for me. This is, though, um, a little bit lighter, more purpley tone than You Don't Know Jacques. I own that one and try to convince myself, but in the end, I came to a realization that it's just not the best color for me. It made my hands look dirty to where this one does not. It looks so beautiful. This is like my taupe. I finished so many bottles of this one because I love it. And the formula is really good. Two to three coats to get opaque. If I go in a little bit heavier, I can get it opaque at two coats. And then Disturbia. This was a purple shimmer that I leaned for many years as well. Also finished many bottles of. I'm not sure if Wet n Wild still does these. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't. Actually, I haven't checked their racks in, in recent years. But this one's also a great one. Again, a little bit warmer, right? So let me compare it to Purple with a Purpose. See that? So pretty. A few from uh, Orally. Um, I have War uh, Space Cadet, which actually reminded me of Warm and Fozzy from OPI. If you have that one, I never bought that one, um, but if you have it, bring it out. I heard that one's really great. So Space Cadet has those reddish kind of burnt um, tones going on with that golden green. That is visible on the nails. I have mentioned before though this one by itself on my nails, it makes my hands look slightly dirty. So I much prefer this one as a topper over top of the deeper kind of brown base. And it brings out the little dual shift on my nails a little bit better and just helps it look better uh, against my skin tone. But such a beautiful polish. Just because it doesn't look great on me, you know, I, I still thought to mention that because it, I think this is fall in a bottle. And maybe it, it was a favorite of yours at one point. Sea Girl, so good. I love this silver. It's so beautiful. You may be able to find this one on discounted websites still. If I pull it back, sometimes on my nails, it has a hint of a green undertone. It's so freaking beautiful. It's one of my favorite silver or grays ever. It's so great. And the formula is awesome. So this one's not readily available anymore, but Orly did come out with this one, which is relatively similar. It's, it hints a little bit more brown, um, but I did a comparison of these two, and they're not the same, but they're close enough to where I feel like they they both look equally as beautiful on the nails. So both great polishes, and this one is called Infinite Allure. It's just a little bit more brown, as you can see. Let's see here. And the particles in Sea Girl are a little bit larger. You see that? But both of these are great. Uh, this one from Sally Hansen, Yummy Yams. And this is slightly yellow, slightly orange, a yam color. 
like a squash type of color. Formula wise, this one's a little bit thinner, so it does require three coats, but I think it's beautiful. And I bought this one well after it was available. I think I found it online somewhere. And, um, and in its time, I think this color was pretty unique. Nowadays, you can find colors like this relatively easily. I believe um, there's a lot of mustard yellows available even in the drugstore actually these two Sally Hansen ones are freaking awesome I love them so much I have get down which is kind of a rosy with a hint of purple and it's beautiful let me bring it back over here on the nails this pulls a little bit deeper and the color is a little bit more saturated it looks a little bit more rich and formula wise it's awesome two coats for this one I actually have one from Dior that's called Cosmopolite. It's reminiscent to this one, um, but this one's just a few bucks. And I don't, again, don't know if they have this one available, but check out Sally Hansen's um, racks. And then this one, which is called Gray Area. This, I'm going to tell you right now, it looks so much better in person on the nails than any photograph will capture for me. Uh, I feel like whenever I've taken pictures of this as a manicure, it just doesn't translate as good as it looks it's so beautiful so this one is a gray with a little bit of purple you can say purple with a lot of gray you know whichever so it looks um they're a little bit lighter but bringing it back you can see the true color of it it's so good and the formula is also really really good wallace from butter london this is kind of a regal type of green it's green but slightly golden it's so dang beautiful and do you see that little glow right here? Oh, let's see. This is another one of those polishes that I uh, I do have backups of it, but I don't use it very much because I don't want to finish it, but that's silly. Because <laughs> what's going to happen is that this eventually will dry out and then I will be able to enjoy it, you know, which is this just dumb. So this one's going on my seasonal rack also. Two-Fingered Salute is an all-time favorite. I have mentioned this polish many times. I was lucky enough to get backups of this earlier in the year because one of you <laughs> messaged me telling me that eBay had them um, on sale. And so I got quite a few bottles of this. So um, this one has a sage green base and reddish shimmer, but the shimmers are not uniformly shaped. And it's so beautiful. The, the little shimmers look like little speckles on the nails. It's so unique and so beautiful. A couple polishes that do come some close to this one. Um, Succulent Garden from Zerk Colors. And I have that one. I didn't bring it out though because that one leans more blue to me. And it doesn't come nearly as close. But it gives you a similar vibe on the nails. You know, that one's pretty. It's just not my personal favorite. I much prefer this one. But Moonshine Manny came out with two weeks notice. Oh, so good. She did so great in the base color. It is the closest to to fingered salute that I have found personally. The glitters though are significantly larger, and you can tell that they're they're just bigger glitters, right? To where this, it's almost I don't know, like the little particles are flat. They're not uniformly shaped. It has that little warm. Do you see that little golden shimmer, which two weeks notice also has but it's not as strong i think i did a comparison video of these two um and uh phoebe did such an awesome awesome job with two weeks notice it is the closest that i have found so i'm happy to have this one all 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 <laughs> of the scattered holographics from zoya okay all of them the purple ones the berry ones the black one look at these these are awesome. My favorite is Blaze. This is the like the raspberry one with the holographic. The base of this is a little bit more jelly-like. And so it does require three coats. But what you see in the bottle, you get on your nails. None, none of the holographics sit at the base of the nail. These are all scattered throughout and you see the little rainbows it's so dang beautiful i love it storm is the black one also really awesome and then i have oh i forgot one okay the purple ones all right so let me talk about peyton a little bit warmer uh finley is the one that's a little bit more on the cool side 
but equally as beautiful look at that and then i have aurora uh, let me what am i doing aurora right here you see that they're all really really great great for the fall my ultimate favorite zoya though and i've mentioned this polish in many fall picks is roxy let me adjust myself here before i talk about roxy it's just so beautiful so roxy has a raspberry jelly base and then it has silver metallic glitters and you can see some of the glitters here at the bottom how they sink to the bottom this is one of those polishes that i have to shake it up apply it to one hand shake it up again and apply it to the other hand but it's worth it it's so worth it it's so beautiful it looks like straw, uh, raspberry jam on the nails and the little glitters look like little se seeds it's so pretty it does get opaque at two coats but i usually add three because i like loading up on the glitter and it looks so beautiful i love it that's so good okay essie for the twill of it and this is a uh, multi-chrome so this goes from gray to purple to green um you can see it here and it's really really good this is reminiscent to holy shift which just came out in the um china glaze halloween collection only that this one is deeper than holy shift um but this one's really really good a uh, little brush strokey, so I do have to be careful with my application, but super awesome at two coats. And then I have Bobbing for Bobbles, which I have not used in a while. And this is a deeper dusty blue. This is like my original dusty deeper blue. And I have not reached for this one in many years. Uh, and it's great. It has a great formula. So I remember it being awesome. My battery's going to die. I need to charge my phone. Hold on. <laughs> Hold, please. Okay berry naughty this is my one of my all-time favorite berry tone polishes it looks way more red than it actually is so let me bring it back over here the formula of this one is a little bit more jelly like so it does require three coats but it looks super juicy on the nails and this is one of my favorite pedicure colors ever um for fall and winter i freaking love it now this does stain the skin around my nails, so I do have to be careful with application. And while I'm talking about this one, let's talk about uh, Bahama Mama. Another one that's a more recent purchase in the last couple of years because I never found the need for it. Um, but it's a little bit more purple tone than Berry Naughty, as you can see. And Bahama Mama is a cream. But great for the fall also. I keep saying that. I don't know why I'm saying that clearly because I'm making this video. <laughs> Stop okay two that are a little bit more taupey um and more gray miss fancy pants is an all-time like finished many bottles and bought bottles and given the, given it away because it's so good formula is great so this one's a much lighter taupe uh compared to wet cement let me wet cement is deeper and it has more purple and i feel like it brings out a little bit more of the gray and even a little bit more of the of uh, the brown in Miss Fancy Pants. So good. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like a, a perfect neutral for the colder months. Chinchilli. Next to Miss Fancy Pants, it'll bring out more of the purple in Chinchilli. But it's more gray. And both have a great formula. And then China Glaze. I love China Glaze, guys. It's one of my favorites for fall for Halloween collections. They're so creative, I think. Um, so I have Trendsetter here. And this is kind of a pea soup green type of color, but then it also has that uh, little golden shimmer. That is not strongly visible on the nails, but you can tell that there's something there. It doesn't completely fall flat. And it's just beautiful. I love it good formula for this one also harvest moon i recently bought a polish similar to this color um from orally from their breathable line it's actually sitting on my fall rack but this is a great one and the particles in this one are larger than the ones from orally but the color tone is pretty much the same 
it's so great. Look at that. It's very coppery looking. I think it came out in a Hunger Games collection. It's alive. And this is kind of like a swampy type of green uh, jelly base. And then it has silver metallic glitters. They're, they look green because they're sitting in the jelly base. And this is the type of polish where the glitter does stick terribly to the nail. So patience in removal is required. Lug your designer baggage. This is the other brown that's a little bit more cool tone that I freaking adore. I love it. It's so good, but it has those gold glitters. Do you see that? And they're not uniformly shaped either, which is my favorite part of it all. I'm trying to bring out um, how great is your Dane so you can see. It brings out a little bit more of the purple in like your designer. It's just so good. Two coats for that one. It's deeper than what it was showing. It looks like this. Uh, what is this called? Midtown Magic. And this one, the base is more purpley. It's so good. And then it has those micro glitters that you can see on the nails but it's not as strong as you're seeing here in the bottle but it's still really beautiful they did though this one i think you can find at discounted uh, websites but they came out with this one which is autumn i need that in i don't know fall collection maybe a few years back i can't remember anymore i think i did a comparison between these two um and they practically look the same on the nails that little teal shimmer that you see in autumn i need that is not all that visible at, i don't think i ever captured it on my nails i don't remember seeing it at all so they practically look the same <laughs> but they're both really beautiful this is like my caca brown it's so pretty it's so ugly but so beautiful i love it uh this is called midtown magic so it's brown, but you I see a little bit of a yellowy tone and green tone to it. And let me bring it back because it's deeper. And the color is a little bit deeper on the nails. It looks very saturated uh, and so beautiful. And formula is awesome. It's like my very ugly, pretty color, but more pretty than ugly. Same thing with Trendsetter. So beautiful. Brownstone is my favorite red brown kind of bricky red brown it's so beautiful formula is also amazing i don't know how easily this is to find but uh zoya makes um one that's called pepper but that one's lighter i used to have that one and i gave it away because i preferred brownstone and i think you guys have mentioned an orally polish which if you remember the name of it leave it down below please um because they don't no longer make brownstone sadly i wish i had a backup like 20 backups of it and then like i was saying you know uh don't let the dead bite from china glaze i love what this polish used to look like so originally the base of this was a pinky fleshy tone base and it had red metallic glitters a lot of the glitters in this particular one look a little bit more pink because a lot of the red has bled into the base. So it's deepened up the base, sadly. It still looks beautiful and I'm still going to wear it because it's sentimental to me because of how much I used to love it. <laughs> but this is why you don't hold on to glitter polishes this long, sadly. Um, I do have my finished bottle. I know, ridiculous. I, I keep my finished bottle. <laughs> and you can see this one how much of the glitters they bled out they look gold you see that because it all bled down to the base but it gives you kind of an idea and you here you could see a red glitter here little red specks that's what look at right here that's what it used to look like and the base looked a little bit lighter kind of like here at the top so it looked like um bites of flesh on the nails i think though moonshine manny came out with a dupe god i can't remember somebody i think said uh mentioned it to me but i can't remember now because it's been a little while i'll check on their website and if i can find it i will link it down below i hope she did um if anything i really do hope that china glaze comes back with this polish again because it was so freaking unique i one of my all-time favorites 
And then the last two are from L'Oreal. They no longer make L'Oreal polishes. Um, and these two specifically are textured polishes. I love, love, love textured polishes specifically for the fall and the winter because there's something about textured nails that makes me feel extra cozy. I don't know. So I have the teal one here. And this one is called Hidden Gem. So it's teal glitter and then larger silver glitters. And then this one has this purple little flash. You see it right there? That is vaguely visible on the nails. It's really not that strong, but I can see it in some lights. This one, though, is not my favorite on me. I love the idea of it, and I have still worn it, but it makes my hands look a little bit dirty. Um, but I still want to mention it. And then this one is called um, Sexy in Sequence. It's the purple one. There was also a champagne one that I never bought myself, but I know that one's, you know, maybe some of you guys have that one. Bring it out because I think it's beautiful or it looks beautiful. So the purple one has more golden tones running through it. It's really, it's really pretty. And then lastly, what is on my nails? I love this manicure. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. I have on a trip from Wet n Wild. This is in my project polish. And there's the name of it. And I topped it over with fairy dust. I bought fairy dust, I think it was this year. I didn't own it for the longest time because I've always just been satisfied with my INM holographic top coat. And I know a lot of people love this one, so I wanted to try it out. And it's pretty. <laughs> It doesn't top my holographic top coat from i and though. Uh, but I think it's really beautiful. I like the fact that it loads up on the holographic with one coat. This is one coat on my nails, so I do like that. But I like the option of my i and because it gives me the option of building the intensity if I want to. And the uh, holographic in Northern Lights is smaller. Can you see that? compared to fairy dust. But I think it still looks really beautiful. I see the little rainbows in every single light. Doesn't matter. I can't stop staring at this manicure. It's so simple, but so pretty <laughs> and delicate at the same time. And then let me show you, because I think bringing out this top coat for the fall is great. You can pretty much put it on everything. Really every season, doesn't matter. I do. I finished so many bottles of this. And this one, a lot of the holographics have settled to the bottom. So the thing with this one is you got to shake it up really well. And it's even um, labeled on the bottle so that it scatters. And you can add one coat for a light intensity or double up or at three layers. Doesn't matter. Depends on how much hollow you want on the nails. That's the beauty of this polish. Another top coat that I think is great for the fall is a matte top coat. And this is my favorite mad about you I love it adding a matte top coat to polishes will make them look velvety and I feel again velvety nails makes me feel feel more cozy which is why I love them so that is everything guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational maybe you had forgotten about some of these polishes I know I had before pulling them um, so hopefully it served as a reminder for you guys to bring them out and enjoy them this fall and winter season because some of these can go well into winter. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.